Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we went through Magic Ant and managed to get out of there, but now we have to go back to one it to retrieve a piece of a meteorite to get some Xenoxite or whatever. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna teleport back to one it with our newly earned teleport beta. Okay, that is done. Here we are back in one end. Hmm, nobody at the hotel. Nobody there too. What's going on? Let's go see. Is the library open? Nope. Oh my, what is this? Oh, we've engaged the evil eye. That doesn't look good. I tried Brain Shock Omega. Who felt a little strange? He got confused. Ow. Well, he's tame, so that's good. Yeah, don't know our enemy, but we don't care about it anyway. Let's see. Oh my, two more of those. We've got the mechanical Octobot and a Ghost of Starman. Ghost of Starman are really deadly, so we've got to be careful about this. So, we're gonna use the neutralizer, get rid of the shield that's on the Ghost of Starman. Red PSI Starstorm Alpha. If you didn't believe me, then now you do. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose Paula. Oh well, we try. So. Some PSI life up on Jeff at least. At this point, enemies aren't messing around anymore. Oops, poor poo. Thankfully, that's why we have so much Horn of Life and Cups of Knife Noodles. Jeff is level 66. Which is pretty weird considering Ness is level 81. But oh well. Oh, mom is there. Good. Hey, king. At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around one end now. Townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some steak? I sure do. Are you more relaxed? Okay. Well, that didn't help us for those guys, so let's deal with this. Oh, obviously it's Paula who has it. Of course she does. That is why they told you to be prepared. Whoops. Well, apparently I've wasted a couple of life noodles. That's nice. Followers have revived. Pooh was revived. There we are. Yeah, sure. Keep cowering here. Your eight year old is gonna go save the world while you do that. Let's go see our little sister, shall we? You can only help by keeping your items here. I support you wholeheartedly. Don't get yourself knocked off. I will be strong while you're gone. Oh, it's my line now. Oops. Yeah, let's try to store some stuff while we can. Hmm. 
Well, at least we can get rid of the baddest beam. The defense shower I don't really have any use for. What else could we need? Hmm. I don't feel like I'll use the hungry HP sucker anymore. I'll be using the broken spray gun either. For some reason, anyway, Jeff doesn't want to fix it, so... Who cares? Got a bunch of other stuff, but other stuff that we actually need, so that's it. Let's try to prevent some more of that nonsense and call Dad. Okay, let's go out and deal with that meteorite. Ooh, more of those. At least we got a preemptive strike, so that's good. Ooh, that could be pretty darn dangerous, alright. Wow. Well, so much for that neutralizer, huh? Maybe bazooka. Ooh, paralysis omega. Everybody got pretty darn paralyzed. Thankfully it became tame pretty quickly. Which is cool, and also the fact that Ness has so many PP now. So actually healing that will be no problem. As I said, the game isn't screwing around anymore. More of those? It's kind of strange they didn't use uh, more of those UFOs and only use those. But oh well, it's not a big deal. Glared with eerie eyes, Jeff was diamond eyes. Which means that you can't really do much about him now. Wonder, is this PSI healing enough? Hmm, probably ain't. Oh, it was. Brain Shock Omega. Pala felt a little strange, Pooh felt a little strange. Tried to steal something but failed. Oh wow, she managed to smash him. That could have been disastrous for us. Okay, good. Okay, that's a lot of them. This is gonna be pretty darn dangerous. So the evil eye in his court. This thing, though, I think isn't immune to PSI, as far as I remember. I may be wrong, which will be not good. Oh, good. I'll take care of that. PSI starts from Alpha. Well, it's gonna die. Jeff may die. Other guy, I'm not so sure. Well, at this rate, it will. I may be able to save Jeff, though. Oh god. Stop that. Whew. Flashed a menacing smile. Oh my. Well, now that his shield is no longer there, I can return the favor. Whispered tree. It's the first time I remember seeing that, actually. Hmm. How about that? So, let's see if we can do something about Paula. Let's do a life up B on Pooh. Take with the AV bazooka with Jeff. 
And use that cup of life noodle on Paula. And hopefully not get her killed. Heh. <laughs> she had to dodge that, otherwise she would have been dead. Oh well. This is level 82. Although it appears that cup of life noodle actually healed her. What's up with that? Oh well, PP went up. That's the important part. So let's use something else. Life up Omega. That's gonna heal everybody. So now what would you did we learn with our previous experiment? Well... Apparently, the ghost of Starman is not uh, an enemy to be trifled with, and using the neutralizer is actually making things harder for us. So let's try to do things differently, shall we? Okay, that is done. He can do his PSI Star Storm, I don't really care. Okay, he stole something. Let's do that. Have Paula do her thing. Fire the heavy bazooka and attack. Oops, I used PSI Rockin. It's probably not a good thing. Oh, he doesn't have a shield. Oh my. Jeff got hurt and collapsed as well. Well, that was embarrassing. Oh well. Cost me about a hundred uh, thing too. Oh my. Let's see, he has a horn of life. He still has a cup of life noodle. Okay. I see what I did there. I probably uh, used uh, a horn of life without realizing. Damn, got rid of the horn of life again. Oh, Jeff was revived. Well, that makes things simpler. Well, I look like a total idiot those last two episodes, I'm telling you. Brain Shock Omega. This felt a little strange. Well, I feel strange too. That could have been awful. It is done. There's Liar's Exaggerate's house. Is he still here? Apparently not. And here we are. Back where we started. There is something shiny that you can reach. Do you want to try and get it? Sure. Yeah, it's got the, meet the meteorite piece. Now that this is taken care of, let's try to find a place where we can safely teleport. Which is probably not over there. Let's try this and head back to Saturn Valley. Oh, that was just enough. Good. Now then. Hmm, if only I had a piece of a meteorite. I'd be able to extract some Zeoxite. Ah oh, yes, this is fantastic! What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. Then how did you manage to, uh, to build the prototype in the first place? Alright, leave everything to us and you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Well, okay. Do you say anything different? Zoom! Phase Distorter will be certainly be completed someday, in my humble opinion. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big trouble ahead for you. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Okay, so it's basically the same thing he said before. Let's go stock up on some more of those revives.
Maybe buy some pinky jelly. That sounds like a good idea. Oops, that's right. I forgot something. Need money to buy stuff. Can you imagine that? They, our father gave us over, uh, I don't know, $400,000 throughout the course of the game. Where did he get that for that pretty darn money? I uh, know, wait. It's 40000 Yeah, that's a lot, actually. Not even sure I make more than that in a year. Actually, I probably do, but whatever. So this little dude here. Well, it might have been the other guy, actually. Here we are, Horn of Lives. Two for Ness. Two for Paula. Two for Jeff. Basically, you see where this is going. Two for everyone. this stuff I wonder if our father would like the fact that we spent all of our money on horn of lives yeah I know people who spend them on silly or stuff let's go over here sleep And call our mom. And let's call dad. Yeah, yeah, work hard just like your mom. That is done, let's go see those guys now. Hey dude, finally it's complete, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in. There's just one thing though, you might not be able to return. So make sure you are optimally outfit. Are you ready to go? Sure, even if you're not 100% perfectly completely ready, well, you should be as prepared as possible, it would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Well, they are. Good, at last, the time has come. Are you ready? Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. Yeah, same thing. Don't be afraid, get right in. And here we are, one step for mankind, a giant leap for Mr. Saturn's. Ooh, where is that? Hmm. There's some strange sounding thing. Oh my. Greetings. So you are finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There is only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Who became conscious of PSI Starstorm Omega? Wow. We're gonna destroy things with this. Hey dude. Kidnapped. I was boing. Kidnapper, bad guy, bad guy gone, zoom, where? To the past, ding ding. Ness checked the broken phase distorter, there was a horn of life. Ness got the horn of life. So yeah, you remember this place, we've actually been here before through the lost underworld. No problem here. So there's a giant metallic tentacle here and we're not raising a fuss. So good, so nothing's happening there. Ooh, what's this? 
The phase distorter has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he is acting for, attacking for many years in the past. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... We must warp to the past and fight, but... We here too, boing! This is very hard for me to tell you, but... Oh, I was probably in his way. In order to defeat Gygus, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by way of the Phase Distorter tree. However, the machine cannot warp living things, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot, while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygus by traveling to the past? Sure. Hmm. You accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Sure. Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready, stand by. Oh my drilling sound, I don't like that. Yes, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Ness, activate the face distorter tree by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Sure. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. We're warping! Ooh. And here we are, in the past, as robots. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching everyone, this was Ray Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.